Single player selected. And welcome back, friends. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We've got a message for Phineas, so let's give him a call. Still not sure about this guy, Pug. Oh, how do we give him a call? I may be on the computer. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Hmm. I'm in the mood for some entertainment. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Oh, we've got choices, people. <laughs> uh, tell a joke. I need a little help with my calculus. Can you integrate my natural log? That's too smart of a joke for a caveman, Ada. <laughs> Fine, play my favourite song. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. An advertisement it's jingle. Not the best choice. It's Spacer's the best choice. choice. Do do. That makes me feel happy. Does it not make you feel good, Chip Pants? I mean, you're on your ship in the, in outer space, away from all the scumbags. And you're just having a little joke and a little sing along with your computer, Ada. What's that? What is that? Oh, Demolition Captain. Man, Pug. Remember in the future that their As music wish, was just Captain, all commercials and jingles. That's what that reminded orders. me of. Ah, oh, yes. You're right about that. Um, talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we must have to travel to him and he's right here. So, oh, shall we go visit go. him? We've never been here before. Oh, come on. Let's see if we can wake some people up yet or this something. This should be interesting. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Oh, top secret people. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to take uh, Parvati. Agreed. And Felix. My exact choice. These are my favourite, I think. Um, she's really nice. He's actually funny and quite nice. She's nice, but uh, she may pinch your bows. <laughs> Can't have anybody pinching Pugman's bows. They can pinch my bows, just don't don't pinch my soda drinks, Japanese. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? Oh damn it, blast that's loud. Wow. This is neat. Look at this place. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. He doesn't have a lot of loot, mind you. Yeah, you're looking around for it, I oh, see no. it. Your pug nose ain't smelling nothing. Alright, let's find out what this guy's all about. I'd clap you on the shoulder if I weren't behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. <coughs> in free masks. We can revive the Hope's <laughs> colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. What's so important about these chemicals? If I had time and several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. Mm, what was that about Minister Clark? Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Hmm. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. Alright, just tell me what to do. Ah, yes, the details. 
I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Um, anything I should know about Carmen? You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Actually, there's something else I want to talk to you about. Of course, of course. What's on your mind? Yeah, why is he Yeah, hiding? there's some reason you're behind the bulletproof glass. Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. <laughs> okay, we'll leave him to it. Do you trust him, Chip Pants? He's not quite as trustworthy as the Doc from Back to the Future, is he now? Uh, I wouldn't... Oh my gosh! Oh, it's Bubbles, people! Oh, maybe I don't trust him. Don't poke him. We, Talk we... to him. <laughs> I am pressing it. Aww. In here, sweetie. Hope he's not hurting him. Let's have a look at this. Obscure body in the SK system. By a ladder. So he's putting reminders everywhere, is he? Oh, is that Little post-it notes. Why am I picking up these posters? Hold on a minute, what's he doing with these pegs? Oh, is that his friend? I'm not going to take the hoof. Tell you what, friend, friends, pigs are so intelligent. They're wonderful. They're apparently more intelligent than dogs and up if, there with dolphins. If Pugman would let me have a pig, I'd have a pig. I oh, know you would, Chip Pants, but he'd be rooting everywhere. <laughs> I would hope in the future that we're beyond animal experimentation. Yeah. It's probably not going to happen. But oh, I would hope. I, I think one day it will, Chip Pants. If enough people get aware of it. And get ticked off enough. Well, it's a question. If you're going to put your life before an animal's life, and understand, maybe somebody bigger and better than you may put your his life before your life. That's true. So you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Before we go out, I'm going to hit the old workbench, get my old hammer and spanner. Ooh! Upgrade your weapons? Yes. Have a little tinker. Yeah, let's do that one. Yeah, I think that's the best one. Nice. Oh. The gun designs are absolutely lovely in this guy. They're interesting. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's tinker with this a little bit. So, depending on our science skill, this would cost us less, I believe. Oh. So, we're going to increase damage by 3.2, but it costs us 52 bits. Oh, that's nothing. We've got the money. No, what? Is it in bits? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's do that again. Keeps increasing though. 168 that's bits. That's okay. Got 17k, Pug. Can you rarely do any shopping. Can I modify armor? That's, that's not bad. This one here. By five, yep. When your health drops too low, this mod makes you temporarily invulnerable. Oh. What's the downside to that? The thing is, though, once I use it, I can't get him back out of it, really. You know? It stays with the armor. So if you uh, find another armor you like. This is why, friends, I miss a game like Star Wars Galaxies, if anybody played it. Because I could take this armor, build it all up, and then use it, but then or sell it to yes. somebody else and you know things like that I can sell it here but it's just not the same impact as selling it to another human being they could be walking around with your kit pug okay we are oh, 
We're ready to kick ass, people, I think. Yep. Good luck. Oh, I'm just a good machine gun. Don't <laughs> shoot up your ship. There we go. Byzantium port landed. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Alright, let's get down there. Remember that you are not insured. Um, You're not insured. <laughs> is that going to mean something to me when I get out of here? Is she carrying around fish? She is. Okay, just checking. Okay, paper, we are tall to the safe. Oh, she's right there. Hello. Do you mind? I'm meeting someone. Yeah, that's me. No names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. I already get the feeling of the uh, the lady from Breaking Bad. Yeah. That meets with Walter White in the calf and she she's they're like they sit back to back. Oh yes, real paranoid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh let's get this over with. You have information for me? Yeah. You're looking to make contact with Minister uh, Magpie, right? I should no. know. It won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Okay, so we're not using real names, are we? Magpie, gotcha. <laughs> uh, what's your what's your code name, Pug? Um, Noodle Scroodle. <laughs> Perfect. There's got to be somewhere to catch him where it's less protected. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Can't you get me into the minister's estate? Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Okay, so what can you tell me? Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Thanks for the tip. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. I didn't hear anything really from you. No, not really. It looks like I've got work to do. What's cool about this game is I could actually shoot her if I wanted to. Well, if she gets sassy, Pug, it's an option. Will workbench discovered? We don't need one. Oh, corporate Pug, this place is, uh... Yes, full of scumbags. Is that what you're trying to say, Chip? That's Pugs? what I'm trying to say, Pug. Oh, look at him! What was he picking up stuff? All my hard work's finally paid off! Oh, they're actually happy now. I felt like... When they're going to retire, they kind of put them in a furnace or something. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that the Microsoft what way? What was your family like, Felix? Did you ever know him? I never knew him. I was a stowaway. That's what they call orphans who grow up in the back bays. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. That must have been lonesome. Come on, Parvati. Who are you talking to? Imagine me pining after my family. Yeah, I suppose that was a... Whoa! But hey, look at me now. I'm here. That's it. beautiful. I got a ship and everything. Uh, why can't something exciting happen around here for once? Nothing wrong. Oh, she's wearing a top hat. It means everything's running like clockwork. Don't you ever want a little fun? Maybe see a marauder ship get blown to bits overhead? What a thing to say! Everyone knows marauders can't fly. Huh. Jerky, Fair. wealthy city sense. Oh, I know, I know. They want excitement. Well, they they may well get it, and they may not like it. Get a boot up the butt, give him a bit of excitement. Oh, look oh. at him doing his little sweeping. <laughs> Looks like they might. Oh, they got robot slaves, chip pants. We need to liberate them. Now, if they were apes, pug. Oh. There'd be no question. Planet of the Apes, friends. The originals. Tell me they are not good movies. Real good. We're going to have to revisit. Oh, I don't like the look of you spying on me. 
A camera mechanical. Antibiotic. Take comfort in knowing that anything antibiotic you cannot stop will probably kill you quickly. The dissidents actually you could have been wearing a hat like that and you would have blinked right in front of them. I do blend in as a caveman. And then the chairman shot their space shuttle down with a Hammersmith grenade launcher. Incredible. Are you two talking about the new dissident hunter adaptation? Don't spoil it. I'm behind. You need to watch more Aether with. You never know what's going on. Yeah, all the snobs are up here, Chip Pants. Mm -hmm. They don't like our kind. What's a wealthy citizen among uh, wealthy citizens? Very good point. So they're going to have to stab each other in the back a little bit more to be a little bit more wealthier than the next. Mm -hmm. And it's a never-ending story. Mm -hmm. I hear that. Are you at a zoo or something? Ooh, it's her pet! <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Here's the gardener. Oh. I think that's where we want to go. Yep. Oh, fancy. Get up. How cool is that? I'm going to have to have a drink with a little umbrella in it. Look at him, he's got his own little chef hat and everything. Chip. He reminds me of yo chip hats. Oh, I wish. Umbrella drink with a swirly straw, please, on the double. This guy would be spilling drinks all over the place. Look! <laughs> Look at that tray waddle. He's only got three legs, Chip Pants. He couldn't afford a fourth one. They don't pay him enough. That's a cool effect, though. His shower, all, his towel all shaken. Oh, he's going to serve these two. He needs some grease in his wheels or something. He can't afford it, Chip Pants. They don't pay the robots much around here. Ah, oh, this guy here. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Stand back! You... <laughs> I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Social distancing. He's supposed to drink on the job. Of course not. <laughs> but I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Hmm. What's so important about guarding Minister Clark? He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the Minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. All right, well. A key, you say? That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all so very high level. He's all about the ego, this guy. He thinks he is the uniform he wears. <laughs> yeah, how about I buy you a drink to celebrate your promotion? You know where this is going, Chip. Well, I'll get him drunk. That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have, because today's my big day. <laughs> he's got powerful good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Oh, yeah, keep him, keep him coming. Here's back. to your promotion. Here's to me. <laughs> Hey, you're really great. Have I told you that? <laughs> we should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> I, could, I could have another. You got another? I bet you do. No, I bet we do. <laughs> we, we've pretty looted a ton. Here you go. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow! You've got, like, this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. you got a manosaur energy. That's, that's oh, exactly boss. right. I gotta stop. 
I'm seeing at least two. <laughs> no, 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 keep going. This is going to be entertaining, friends. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. That's the problem for tomorrow. You know, that's a very good point. <laughs> yeah. What is that one supposed to taste like? Purple very crunch? Oh. Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, gross. Keep following him, Pug. Maybe you can lift off his key card. Let him pass out. Oh, there we go. Whoa! Did he did pass he out or did he choke on his own vomit? Whoa! Don't leave any fingerprints. Is he alright? I didn't mean to actually. Um... I reckon he's alright, people. He's alright. Just sleep. He's just passed out. Exactly. Okay. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre approved banter. <laughs> pre approved banter? How could I resist? Request confirmed. Banter protocol activated. Welcome, attractive patron, to Billingsley's House of Inebriation. Did you know that I am a priceless heirloom? Custom built for the Billingsley family. Please remember to thank Mr. Billingsley for allowing you to bask in my presence. Um, I'll bear that in mind. Minister time. Citizens, today marks a monumental. Can you take a left in there? Of history. Oh, maybe not. After a deep and thorough examination of our budgets, revenue streams, janitor, the Zantium estates, built on the backs of the working class. Hey, that was good. Gotta write that down. Ah, uh, here we go. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. I'm here for Minister Clark. Well, that's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, who's expecting delivery, Pug? Maybe you can get in as a delivery oh. man. Sure, I am. Sure, you are. And what is it you're delivering today? Um. <laughs> Death. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring it with me. Typical. Why don't you come back when you're ready to actually make a delivery? All right, farewell. Ha. Huh. Where would we get sight to? Oh, retrieve <laughs> minister's parcel over there. Ask and you shall receive, Pug. I mean, we have got the weapons to probably blow his teeth right out. But uh, I want to do it the gentleman's way, you know? I, I reckon you'd start a crap show. For them, shit pants. And dump their bodies in the little uh, moat down there. I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. Alright. Bit paranoid, but okay. Thank you. Oh, you list mag card to the left. Ah, oh, good spot. Look how fancy this place is. It's like a bank. I feel kind of a little bit bad bringing in my dirty boots in here. Chip no, just wipe your wipe your muck all over the walls, Pug. Go on. Hello. Well, you're getting an early start on the day's parcels, aren't you? Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. Do you have a parcel waiting for Clark, Minister Clark? We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, Minister. I'm here to pick up the parcel. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service Team. 
That means you'll have to sign a release form. How do I do that? Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form and then wait for a receipt for my request of a release form. <laughs> then you'd have to make an appointment. Oh, bureaucracy, you gotta love it. How long does this take? Couldn't say. We've got a backlog and I'm planning on retiring in the next 35 years. Oh but I gosh. could give my successor a memo on your behalf. <laughs> the funny thing is she's probably not joking. I don't have time for this. You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. <laughs> Should we try persuade? Go on. Uh, the minister's here in Byzantium. I'll make the delivery and you're free to take the credit. You do that? Wow. Hey, you know, a positive review from the minister would go a long way in my semi-monthly employment audit. Here's your parcel to be delivered to Mr. Clark, comma, minister. Law speed. Yabba dabba do. Yeah. I feel good about myself every time I hear that music. It means I'm doing good in the game. Do you hear that, people, sitting at home? I'm doing good in the game. I don't want to hear no complaints. Right. Let us... Those extra skills come in handy, Pug. You don't have to shoot up quite so many people with them. You can't go wrong with the old heavy weapons, because I've got a ton of them. You're probably closer to leveling that one up anyway, so go ahead yeah, and pop it in. that's what I think. Okay, I guess that's it. What's in here? It's like I'm back to front and I'm coming into their actual... I'm afraid I can't help you at the moment. Have a prosperous day. Like I should be queuing up on the other side. Uh-huh. But you work here, Pug. Pop. Oh, I stole a little uh, What happened pet, there? Pet oh, pills. yeah. No, nobody saw it. All right. Shall we serve our first customer? It depends as oh, we arrive at hilarious. work. that'd be hilarious. How can I help you today? Oh, that is a shame. It does not allow us to just give free parcels out. Why aren't they queued up with the people that are actually helping? Bureaucracy, chip pants. Have you ever met, been in a post office where it's run smooth and quick? Nope. I haven't. Or the people look happy. I've not seen that either. Now, do we break into here? That's taken a lot. I think it's just five. five. Is What's it? What's the top one? I think that's skill. Oh, is that skill? Oh, okay. Hit it. Oh, the guard was getting alerted. How do you know? Oh, is this His thing, thing was going up. Let's see again. It's not doing it now. See it? Okay, just wait for your time. This has got to be good. Move along. Move along. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. See that? Oh man! No, I'm doing it now. Go, 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 go. Dang, that's impressive. Close door. Super quiet, bug. Super quiet. Close door. I think there's a window in there too, so watch yourself. Yes. Shh. Yeah, there's a window right there. Oh, there's a window right there. As I'm looting in front of the window. Was it worth it? Yeah, there was no mega loots in here, as far as I'm concerned. But, uh, nonetheless, the least I know. Because otherwise I'd be curious. Curiosity satisfied. Well, we've got our package. Hmm. What do you think you're doing? Listen, look. What do you care? Whatever I want. Okay. <laughs> He's really going to come to a guy that's got a big, massive gun like that. What? Honestly, what are you thinking? Oh, you still poke. Oh, um, what are you doing here? Looting. What are you doing here? Nothing. Nothing. Why? Uh, does it does it look like I'm up to something? Yes. Laws, I knew it. Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? Yeah, you're in big trouble now. Why don't you tell me what you did? I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. 
Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow, but they need to stretch their little legs. No. And so what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? Everyone gets a little distracted now and then. Sprats are those little creatures, chip pants, that run about. Okay, that's... sort of the beginning. He's, um, he's okay to do that. That's all right. Calm down and tell me what happened. They escaped. And before I could coax them back, they'd made their way to the maintenance tunnels. Uh -uh. Even if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. Aww. Yeah, I could look for your sprats. Really? In that case, take this collection crate. Six of my little ones are down there, but don't worry. You can easily tell them apart from common sewer sprats. They have intelligent eyes, an agreeable yet reserved demeanor, and a fondness <laughs> for hiding. <laughs> also, they're white rather than green. Please, do take care. And do mind the exterminator mechanicals. If the worst should happen to my little darlings, well, I still want their bodies. For science, of course. You seem surprised I'd help you. I still am. After all, I'm a person of very little influence and only middling prospects. No one does favors for free. But I must say, I'm far too distressed to think critically about your suspiciously kind offer. All right, well, farewell. We might take a look at that. I just want to see how far it is. It's just in here. We're going to do this real quick, friends. Hopefully real quick. Yeah, I want to save the sprats. Six of them, Pug. And they're white instead of green. Agreeable dispositions. You'd be an expert at this strip pants running about with your flashlight. <laughs> You'd find those sprats. I know you would. Oh, there's one close by. You'd have your little cheese out. <laughs> Is that one? That's, That's a lab one. sprat. Is he sleeping? Pick up the sprat. Aww. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cute. That's one. That's handy. It's got waypoints for all of them. I kind of wanted to do a little looking, though. He must have chipped them. <laughs> Let's do it floor by floor. I bet there's going to be scumbags in a minute. The uh, the mechanics, right? The mechanical exterminators. I'm wondering. Oh, they they run shit pants. Come here, you little sprat. Come here, come here. <laughs> gotcha. Two down, four to go. I can hear them. He's just an ordinary sprat. What's that? That's oh, probably. Sprat corpse. The exterminator must be around here. Oh, there's another corpse to your right. Cool. He's not killing a sprat, is he? Oh, pug. Get him, get him, get him. You'll get killed. In my pocket. Here they come! Oh. oh. Okay, I need something else for these fools. Uh, electric, maybe? Yeah, you're pretty right. Shock and awe, hug. It's hard to tell how well you're doing up close on a melee, because you don't see their health bar. Robophobia. Auto mechanicals now give you the willies, and when they're attacking your party, you're not as effective as you should be. No, that's not going to... I'm not going to do that other nope. perk point. Anyway, they don't give me the willies. I'm, I'm like a robot. I think I prefer them over humans. <laughs> One in here? Yeah, go in that hole, Pug. Go in the hole? Oh, Get yeah, around the corner here. Gotcha. Alright. Well, how many more, Chip Pants? Two more. Two more, Pug. <gasps> One's right around the corner. Jackass isn't coming! Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, in that hole. Stupid robot. Stop shooting at humans. Two more. When will you learn? Oh, 
Felix is down. Oh, you are a robot killer. <laughs> All right. Well done. It's a bloody dead worker down here. Wonder if he just got accidentally exterminated. Have you noticed, ships? I'm getting a little bit more picky about my uh, loot. If you can't even get good bits or parts from them, it's not worth it, is it? Sprat! Come here, you do. Nice. I like this mission. It feels more like we're doing good. Yeah. Instead of exterminating things. Well, yeah. We may have to exterminate this guy called Clark coming up, mind you, but he's probably worth about four sprats, right? We say yeah. four sprats, <laughs> we get to take him out. <laughs> Oh, maybe I've got them all, and that's the exit. Oh, Jesus! I swear He's... to God, he gave me the biggest shock. You can change your weapon. Oh. You're not doing any damage to him. Change your weapon. Oh, I'm in a panic. There we go. Flipping hell. Yeah. Good hammer strike. He's dead. Oh. Let me have a giant sprat, right, Captain? No. As as I fed it? No. <laughs> Certainly not. Look she, at the teeth on that. She reminds me of somebody, Pug. He almost had my leg, Papo. He's eating a lot of jewelry in his day. That gave me the biggest shock chip pants. <laughs> Aww. Those aren't ours, don't worry about it. Come Aww. here, you cute little sprat. He was eating skeletons. Well, he's got to live off something, Chip. Hands. Okay, well, we've got your sprats. Any luck finding my sprats? Have them all. Truly? Why, this is marvelous. No. Oh. And all safe and sound. Oh, Reginald, Philippa, <laughs> Vonda, Haroon, Iskander, Evelyn. I'm never letting you out of my sight again. Please, take this. It's not much, but it's the best I can offer for the safe bucks, return of my bad. darlings. Now, I've got to get back to the lab before my supervisor logs my absence. Well, more importantly, he's happy. Yeah. And you got XP too. And we made friends because we started off on a bad note. <laughs> but uh, it ended well. Oh, wow. Look at that, people. Wow. Now we're getting to like Imperial Jedi ness. You must Oh there. That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of him? Is she talking about me? Access to Byzantium is impossible without a proper nav key. She's talking now, about me. If you'll excuse me. You got a problem with me. How splendid. Another rung leech wandering through the streets of Byzantium. A rung leech? Excuse Why, just me? this morning I thought to myself, as lovely as the gardens are, what they really need is more greasy vagrants frolicking through them. Oh. And here you are, frolicking. Frolicking? Guys, do I frolic? The board made frolicking illegal a couple years back. <laughs> Don't let that stop you. <laughs> well, whatever you call it, do it elsewhere, and take your merry band with you. Honestly, what is the board thinking, letting so many of your ilk into the city proper? It's madness. She's about to get one to the chop from me. What's wrong with people coming to Byzantium? What's wrong? It erodes the very pillars of our society. Merit, decorum, personal hygiene. This city is meant for us, the system's finest. We earned its luxuries. But now we are overrun with the unworthy and the ungrateful, and this early retirement nonsense is making it even worse. All right, Chip House, get my pad and paper. We're marking her name down. She's <laughs> she's entered the list. That's a terrible attitude. You shouldn't look down on people like that. Oh, do spare me your petty judgment. It's beneath me. Millions and millions of bits beneath me. By simply winning a lottery, those early retirees get an exclusive district of Byzantium to themselves. No one else is even allowed to go there. Tell me, how is that fair? Life's not fair. Well, it should be if you pay enough. 
It's right. not right. I deserve to see any district I please. Why, if it weren't guarded, I'd... Hmm. You know, you look like you've been shot at before. What say I hire you to investigate this travesty, and you get paid to do so? No, she ain't wrong, boss. We do got a knack for getting shot at. Yes. Listen to your... Your... What is that person's job, exactly? Are they your secretary? Personal masseuse? Or do you just keep them around as a mobile armrest? Well, it doesn't matter. What's important is that you think this is a fabulous arrangement, and you'd be thrilled to lend me your services. Aren't you? You're joking, right? Why would I ever help you with something so selfish? Did you miss the part where I said I'd pay you? That's all the reason someone like you should require. <laughs> How are you able to stomach this, Pug? Doing it for money would just make me selfish too, no thanks. I don't see how, but very well. Frolic along then, you're blocking my view. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you. Just just remember where She's you are, Pug. Inches away from one of them. Witnesses. Inches. You did scare her. <laughs> All right. in, in the meanwhile, I'll be picking up scraps in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so she... So she might have a, a point. You got any scraps under your bench there, love? <laughs> Spare change. All right, friends. Going to leave it here for now on the next video. Going to go into that building, deliver a package. Number 312. Unlike UPS, we won't damage it. <laughs> Till then, friends. See you on the next video. Save and quit.